welcome and thank you for watching West Coast Bannerman. In this video, we're going to introduce War Chest. First off, I will introduce my amazing co-host. We will talk about the overview of the game. Uh, we're going to go over the future episodes of, with this video series and what you can expect with the War Chest uh, videos in the future. We're going to talk about why we love this game, what to buy, and then we'll uh, finish up with how to get in touch with the online community and join in the fun. So again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. All right, so let's give a big welcome to my co-host and I'm gonna let him uh, pronounce his name for us because I have failed miserably at it. So um, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay, uh, uh, hello. So my name is uh, Felix Baudouin and uh, I'm a French player. I'm uh, 43 years old, and uh, uh, I, I'm one of the main uh, uh, people, uh, person uh, running the, the French community uh, and the ladder for the French community. Yeah, I can't wait to get into that. We'll, we'll have more um, in-depth discussions about the ladder and what exactly you're doing with tournaments and stuff. Um, let's ask a couple more questions here about yourself. How long would you consider you've been gaming? And um, and then, let's see, your gaming background, and then we'll talk about, like, what what made you get into being such a, uh, uh, into the community for War Chess. So, so okay. basic gaming background. So, basic gaming background is, uh, uh, I started uh, playing video games really uh, at a young age because I got uh, the some of the first um, uh, Nintendo the, the 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 very first ones mm -hmm. but then uh, I started uh, then role playing games when I was 10 and uh, shortly afterwards um, some 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 uh, board games and uh, then I started playing Magic when I was uh, six, 15, 16. And I played Magic for uh, several years. Then uh, when I was 20, I, uh, I had quite good results with Magic. And I managed to uh, work for a tournament center uh, in Paris where we could hold uh, the biggest uh, tournaments uh, in Paris we, we could um, we could have uh, uh, almost 200 person playing uh, inside the shop it was a very very large shop so and uh, afterwards I didn't play as much uh, as much uh, board games but uh, after a while uh, I came back to it, and uh, yeah, I, I was always quite a competitive player. I, uh, uh, I was playing also uh, Blood Bowl at some, at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, as as you grow older, I think as a player, you start uh, recognizing more and more which kind of game you you enjoy. And um, and when I when I um, when I discovered uh, War Chest, I I fell in love with the game uh, immediately. Like I, I played, I had a friend uh, at my uh, local um, uh, local uh, gaming association. She told me, "Oh, you have to try this. I think you will like it." And after two five minutes, I said, "I'm buying this game tomorrow." <laughs> <laughs> and I, I only buy very few games, maybe two or three every year. Mm -hmm. And this one I knew right away I wanted to buy it. I, it was uh, really obvious. And uh, But uh, I didn't know I would love it. Uh, I, I, would, I didn't know it was this good. Right. <laughs> so before we get into why we love this game, uh, some of you might be wondering... What is War Chest? So I will be giving the overview now, and what I'll be doing is reading the box, 
and then I'll hop over to boardgamegeek.com and read the summary there. So starting off with the box that you buy, War Chest from AEG by Trevor Benjamin and David Thompson. Can you master the game of kings, queens, and warriors and lead your armies to victory in this beautifully crafted game of tactics and strategy? War Chest is a simple to learn yet highly replayable strategy game where the players each control armies of unique units. It combines drafting with an elegant army composition mechanic. War Chest challenges you to develop alternate strategies to recruit more troops, offset your losses, and outmaneuver your opponent in order to defeat them. Then hopping over to BoardGameGeek.com's description from the publisher, War Chest is an all-new bag-building war game. At the start of the game, raise your banner call, drafting, several various units into your army, which you then use to capture key points on the board. To succeed in War Chest, you must successfully manage not only your armies on the battlefield, but those that are waiting to be deployed. Each round you draw three unit coins from your bag, then take turns using them to perform actions. Each coin shows a military unit on one side and can be used for one of several actions. The game ends when one player, or one team, in the case of a four player game, has placed all of their control markers. That player or team wins. Uh, the game is classified as an abstract game. Uh, abstract, strategy, medieval, war game are its categories, and mechanisms include area majority slash influence, deck bag, pool building, grid movement, hand management, team-based game if you want, and variable player powers, which I am assuming means in reference to the units themselves, which every single unit is different in this game. So I think with these two descriptions, it covers it pretty good, but I'll just use my own real quick. Um, what you do in a game of War Chess is you start out by deciding which player gets which units. And uh, in a more advanced game, this would be the drafting mechanic that it talks about. Every unit in the game is different, so no player will have two of the same units. Uh, once that is established, you will then uh, create your initial deck, a.k.a. bag. And that is the coins in your bag that you'll use to start the game. Um, what you'll immediately start doing is either deploying units or buying more units from reserves or using units that you've already deployed to perform the actions that you need to do in order to control the amount of points you need to win. Uh, controlling the points are, of course, located on the board, which is where the area control comes in. Um, it's sm fast, smooth, easy to learn. It's just a fantastic system that I love. Speaking of how good this game is, we're going to jump into why we love it. And I will go first. Uh, there's a few things that I can point out. Number one is the simplicity of the game itself, yet the deep uh, strategy well you can get, it, get yourself into. So uh, if you're watching this channel, you know the other game we cover is very similar. Um, in War Chest, it is even more so. Just a very simple rule set, simple design, and yet um, so much to explore as far as strategy and tactics. Um, the second thing I'll point out that I love is the playtime. So I use this game a lot as a filler. If a couple players finish their match early in a different tournament, I can suggest that they hang out and play this game while they wait. Um, it's, you know, it can be 10, literally 10 minutes to 30 minutes. Um, and it's so much fun uh, with just that short amount of time. You could probably play a lot longer if you wanted to, um, but it's it's even more fun when you make make the game g get pushed along faster. I think. Um, and then lastly, the the theme. It's just you know it's, it's a common theme that I love, and even though it's an abstract game, I think that um, once you really kind of grasp the game, get a hold of it. Um, you can see that the theme is actually quite strong. The units, uh, their abilities um, on the on the table, uh, come through with the theme uh, very strongly as well. So, uh, those are my three favorite things. I think. Um, so let's go over to Felix and and see what his favorite things about the game are. Um, first and foremost, I think um, it's a it's a it's a f fun game. Uh, the game is is just is just um, uh, enjoyable to play. I think it's even more enjoyable when you have the the, the board version mm -hmm. 
because you can you can dig in your bag and and and, and uh, mix the chips and uh, then and the, you have this uh, little um, uh, loto loto you say loto uh, uh, I'm not when sure. you no uh, when you when you don't know what you're going to draw you know oh when oh. you 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 know when you you you, you don't know what uh, what what you're going to get. You know? Right, right, right. You draw, you draw three chips, and you have this little surprise every turn. That oh, lotto! Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Am 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 I gonna get? Am I gonna have? Am I gonna draw the, the this 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 chip I want to draw to eliminate a, to, uh, a chip of my opponent or not? So you have this this little aspect that is uh, quite fun. And uh, the chips are so nice uh, to handle. They are they are beautiful. So, and um, it's then it's just very strategic. It's a it's a really you really feel like you're playing a battle. It's really strategic. It's tactical and strategic at the same time. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, and you can, and it's uh, uh, the 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 games are never the same. And you can elaborate. I love to I love to elaborate on on games like this. Uh, I I I I have a notebooks, strategy notebooks. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I play a game and I I. I I don't know. I lo I I I try a strategy with uh, the with the archer, and uh, I lose because of another piece. Uh, the other play, and I I try to go really in depth and in precision with uh, with what happened. Why why did I lose? Why did I win? What what what, what went uh, right? What went wrong? And um, and I think it's. Uh, there, there are not so many games that allow you to go uh, that much in 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 depth, and uh, and uh, I keep I keep feeling uh, like I'm unveiling uh, stuff, and even after two two hundred games, and uh, it's it's never. Uh, uh, even even we uh, even amongst the best players. The game really doesn't feel uh, stale. Uh, I still uh, f feel that we we have a room for uh, for getting better, and uh, that's really great. I think that is amazing. Yeah, uh, two hundred games, and and I'm sure the other the other top ten players have have that or more, and you guys still yeah, are, yeah. are yeah. enjoying I, and finding I'm, new things. Um, amongst the, the top players, I'm one uh, with uh, the least games. But <laughs> okay. I, I also, I think, I think also I'm 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 one that uh, uh, analyzes uh, more uh, every game. Gotcha. All right. Um, well, those those points of why you love the game, I can definitely agree with. Um, and in a future episode, we will take a more in-depth look at, uh, you have a, I think you're the one that showed me, uh, the site that you have building in the midst or in the, in the middle of building mm -hmm. the, the strategy guide type of site, which looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, the discord and, uh, the, the, the current tournament that's finishing up right now. Um, we can take a look at that. Um, and also how to use, how to use, uh, the the online play systems and things of that nature um thank you so much for joining me on episode zero and um i can't, welcome. can't wait to record again any um final thoughts or goodbyes for this episode um well uh, i want to say hello to all the 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 worcester players uh, that will listen to it and all and uh, to all the players in general and if you haven't tried the uh, worcester you should try it. Yep, and, I agree. Uh, I hope you love it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so, all right. So let's let's give this a try. No, I'm not gonna try. I'm not, I don't want to embarrass myself. I was gonna say <laughs> I was gonna try your to pronounce your name again, but I just uh, 
I'll respectfully just say. No, it's okay. It's okay. I, it's it. It will be a f funny last uh, moment of the <laughs> episode. Um. Okay. So thank you, uh, Felix Baudois. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you all so much for tuning in, listening, liking, and subscribing. Here's how to get started with War Chest. Uh, grab that base game and nobility expansion. Highly recommended. Makes the game even better as it is. Of course, you might want some card sleeves, and then you can go to Inked Gaming and upload your own image for the playmat. The links are down below. Um, as well as links to the online community and how to play online. So uh, check that out. Get started and get uh, going with War Chest. I highly recommend it. Um, so what's to come in the future with War Chest videos? We'll have the rulebook and tutorial video coming soon. We'll do nobility expansion uh, deep dive. We'll go into detail about how to get better with three basic steps along with advanced tips. And then we'll do some live stream games and have some special guests. So look forward to more videos and we'll see you next time.